Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today I'm going to show you guys how to fix the screen rotation on Linux computers on tablet PCs such as this one. So let's get started. So I've been recently playing around with the Ku tablet, the LeeBook 2-in-1 laptop. And in most cases, tablets have this issue like the Surface Pro or any other little tiny touchscreen tablet devices with rotation sensor. So in this video, what I'm gonna be showing you guys is how to create your own configurations to fix the 180 or 90 degrees flipped or inverted screen rotation that you might occur on tablet PCs such as this one. This way you don't have to wait for somebody to create a config file and you could create your own. I'm also using this as a reference for the future in case I forget how to do this or I miss a step. So I can always refer back to this video for myself just in case I run into this problem again. Now, to begin, I am going to be using Ubuntu Pop OS 21.10, and it's the same for most Linux, whether it's being Arch or anything else. Uh, this configuration is very, very similar to all these different platforms. Now, I do have the liberty of using the Ku laptop, which I'll leave a link down in the description below to where you can get yours if you guys are interested, and also a link over here for the video that I did on the review of this guy. Now, what's good is that I am using a laptop that is not known to the masses. This way, we have to find the configuration files from scratch. Now, what I did is when I was installing this, because the rotation sensor is 180 degrees flipped, I was able to flip the screen lock the rotation and finish the install. But now that I'm in the normal desktop, you could see that it is actually flipped upside down still. So we're gonna have to fix this. So I'm gonna log in. And again, you could do the same little trick, which is flip the screen, lock the rotation, and you should be able to keep it at an orientation that you could deal with. So that's what I'm gonna be doing right now. I'm just gonna press the bottom left and lock the screen rotation. This way, if I flip it, I'm not gonna lose the orientation. This way it's a little bit easier to deal with. All right, now that I have the orientation fixed, in a sense where I could actually work with, we are gonna need three things. So what we're gonna be modifying is something called the hardware DB as well as uh, the Excel mount matrix. We're gonna be adding our own attributes for this particular model, make and, uh, product so it would rotate to the proper orientation so we're gonna need to grab three things which is the product name of this device the driver and also the manufacturer so to do this what I'm gonna do is do a screen recording this way you don't have to see a screen capture it's much easier to see a screen recording so I'm gonna do shift Control alt R to start grabbing the record screen and in here the first thing I'm gonna to have to type is udev ADM info dash n slash dev slash i o device zero so this will spit out a bunch of things but the main thing you need to know is this guy right over here b o s c zero two hundred now i'm going to copy this and put it on a g edit this way i have it for reference now the next line we need is the manufacturer so we're going to grab that with this command called dmi decode pipe that into grep and manufacture. Oh, I got to sudo that. Once we grab that, we know the manufacturer is actually KUU or KU. So we're going to pop that into our little notepad. And the last thing we need is the product. So we're going to run the DMID code again and just look for product. And the product name is Andes. So now we have three things the driver name the manufacturer and then the product now with these three we're able to create this little string that will actually tell the matrix to flip it now to do this we will need to go into uh, this folder called lib u udev hardware db dot d and then in here there's gonna be a list of stuff. So you have your keyboard, your input sensors. Actually, the file sensors is what we could modify or append to, but we wanna create our own file just in case if something screws up, we don't have to go through another file to search for it. Now, in here, I'm just gonna cat our nano 60 sensor hardware DB. And in here actually gives you the quick rundown of what 
it does and what it is. And it also talks about the Excel mount matrix, uh, the rotation, X axis, Y axis, et cetera, et cetera. And then these are all the manufacturers that they know of that has this problem. Like if you have an Acer. So a lot of laptops suffer through this problem, but because this file exists, it already resolves the problem when you first boot into a newer Linux. Now, I'm going to create a, my own file. So I'm going to do sudo nano 61 dash sensor dash local dot hwdb. And in here, that's when I add my own little thing. First thing we need to know what we're going to be modifying, which is the sensor file. Put a colon there. Ma alias colon acpi colon. And then here we're going to put the driver name. So we're going to do b o s is it bos let me let me pull this uh, g edit up there you go bos c 0200 star that means every attribute at the end of that colon dmi colon s v n which is the vendor name and this would be k u use and then put a star at the end and then colon again p and product name and these and then colon star now you make a new line hit space bar so it just needs one little space and then in here you would do excel underscore mount underscore matrix equals and this is the attribute that you need to put in now every laptop might be slightly different this is rotated literally 150 180 which is you know up and down inverted so i'm going to put zero minus one comma zero semicolon minus one colon zero colon zero semicolon zero colon zero colon one so that's the attribute that we need to flip the screen 180 degrees control x to save yes save the file and now we need to update the udev so sudo udev adm hardware db update and that is it now you have to reboot the computer it should be rotated 180 degrees and all the touch screens should work along with it so so what i was missing why it didn't work after the reboot which i'll try again is because i forgot to start after the dmi so yeah we'll reference that in a second uh, second and then i'll just like put some text under it but you need that star so now I am going to save again, rerun the hardware, and then reboot. All right, there we have it. Just because I was missing that little star, but now everything is working. It is on the right rotation. I'm going to log in real quick, make sure that the rotation lock is off, which I think it is. Let me check that. Yep, rotation is off. Touch screen is working on the proper rotation. And that is it. That's how you get the rotation to work on your Linux laptop or your tablet. Anyway, that is it for me, guys. I'm still testing Linux on this KuBook. There is a handful of things that I still got to play around with, including this little stylus pen that it's not being able to be picked up. But otherwise, so far, so good. If you have any questions about ro screen rotations or if you guys are having trouble, let me know down in the comments below. I'll try my best to answer them. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hit that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as say my Nerd Cave, hack till it hurts.